it's Anne from the Useless Crafter, and today I'm going to show you how to make stickers. So, but before we get started, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I appreciate all the support that I can get. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make the easy, uh, easy peel stickers where you have an offset, and then that way it's um, we can pull that off, and so your sticker kind of has a lip. Um, but before we do that, I also want to show you how I customize stickers. So my daughter, <laughs> of course, there's always like a personal purpose, right? My daughter is on a softball team. And so I kind of want to, I want to make some stickers in, um, and hopefully I don't jinx them. So I'm going to print them, but not show anybody. <laughs> and hopefully I can hand them out. Okay. So first thing is they're the Nighthawks. So what I did was I used, um, AI to create a scary Nighthawk. That's going to be a different tutorial on how I do it, how I enter it in, and, and you know, the, I think I use ChatGPT. Um, but I want to be able to show you how to customize some stickers after, using an initial image. So I'm going to go to upload and oops. Let me get out of that. I already have this as an um, as an uploaded image, so I'm just gonna view all real quick because I don't remember if I I tell you guys to name things properly to find them. But just in case, I'm just gonna scroll down. Oh, you can see all my ooh la la stuff. So if you're interested in that, while we're talking about it, <laughs> the workshop is twenty nine dollars and it's amazing. It's five projects. It includes five SVG files. Oh, here are my Nighthawks. I'm going to add to canvas um, and you can get all the details in the description or just go to the uselesscrafter.com. It is a, an amazing workshop. So you're going to have pre-recorded tutorials, um, you know, to help you in design space. We're going to have tutorials where I actually piece it together um, and then um, and that's going to be live. So and if you can't make it, it's going to be recorded so you can rewatch it as many times as you need to. Um, and it comes with all the supplies list so you know um, where to get them and all the things that you need. OK, so I think did I add to canvas? OK, I added it to canvas. Let's view it. OK, so here are my my scary Nighthawks. Uh, these are the four images that I oh, I did add it twice. So these are the four images that I got from using the AI um, application. So I am going to go with, I don't remember which one we went with. Maybe I think I went with this one. So because it came in as four images and it's attached, right? Like I don't have the option of, it's not ungrouping. It is one, it, it's basically one file. So the way I would do this is let's go and get our shapes. And this is pretty, I think this happens, you know, Fair, it's it's a fairly common thing that happens. So I'm going to unlock my rectangle and basically I'm going to isolate this guy right here. So I'm going to get rid of um, three of the Nighthawks, right? So I'm going to do it systematically. <laughs> um, I'm going to grab these two items because that's two. The rectangle is one and my Nighthawks is the second image, okay? And I'm going to slice. By slicing, I'm removing, I'm sort of isolating my image um, one by one. So I'm going to get rid of all my slice results and see now this is no longer part of this. So I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to leave this. Now I only want this one. So I'm going to get rid of this guy. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to bring in another square and make sure that whatever I'm isolating is by itself. What you don't want is something like this, because if that happens, I will have this and I will have this still attached doesn't help me right so i'm going to make sure that um the image that i want separated is by itself and so again it's two items it's the nighthawks and the square you can only slice two items at a time i grabbed both and i'm going to slice so now this one is by itself okay so now i can get rid of all of that okay so this is by itself Itself, and it's print then cut. So it's already, a, you know, it was an image and not an SVG file. So I want to add, there are a couple things. I want to go into images and see what kind of softball stuff is already pre-made. Um, and I saw one early. I thought this was cute with like the partial softball. And then maybe I can write, you know, champions number one or something like that so i like this one 
And let's scroll down and see if there's anything more. Um, I like all these stickers, but I want one. We're going into the championships, so it's tomorrow. So I'm really hoping that I don't jinx them and that they kill it tomorrow. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, I like that one. Softball all day long. That's cute. Um, you know what? I might just make a couple stickers. I like that one. I kind of like this if I put... Oh, I like this one. Because we can put Nighthawks in the middle. Um... Oh, this is cute. Slider, steel, fastball. That's cute. Um, all right, let's do that. Let's add to canvas and see what we have. Okay. So I, I really like, let me move these aside. I really like this one. I don't like the mom. So what I'm going to do is let's look at this image. This image is right here. So it's got the red, the black, where it says softball and the mom. So the mom is editable, which means we can click on this and we can type in, right? So that's editable editable. <laughs> um, but I don't like it at all. So I'm actually going to just remove this. I like this. I like the partial softball, but I don't actually want the word softball. So when you have something like this, you can again, I'm going to bring in a circle this time because I really, okay, so what we can do is for this, in the black, only the A and the O are connected to this line. The rest of the words I can actually remove. So I can click on softball right here and go to contour and get rid of most of these things. I'm gonna hide all and let's see what we have. We have just the O and the A. So to get rid of the O, I'm just gonna bring it up like that, okay? And I'm going to grab these two. The red stitching is there. So I want to make sure that I don't grab the red stitching. So if I do this, it's the circle and the black. Oh, it says I can't slice. You know why? Because it's grouped together. So what we're going to do is grab this, ungroup it. Okay, now we're going to grab these two items. Oh, why can I not slice? Why? Why? Oh, did I not ungroup? There we go. Now I can grab these two items and I can slice. Let me show you if I grab the three items, right? Which is what I had been doing. <laughs> where if you, you lift it up high enough where it's touching the red. So I'm, right now, my cursor is touching partially the circle, partially the black, and partially the red. That's three items. It's not gonna let me slice. So you see how it's grayed out? So now I'm gonna grab with my cursor, you can see I'm only grabbing the circle and the black. Okay, and I'm gonna slice. So that's gonna get rid of this. Oops. So you see how that leaves? Okay, so we're gonna get rid of all these items. So now I have the A. I'm gonna do the same thing with the A. I'm gonna grab my circle and I'm gonna move it just so that it gets the A. Let's see there. Okay, and we'll grab these two items and we're going to slice. So now I have that. Now I can put this little guy in here. Oh, that's kind of cool, right? I can even make him bigger. Let's see. Oh, I love the idea of that. Okay, so now let's go to text and Maybe we're gonna put, let's see what it looks like. Night 
Cox. Um, I kind of like the way that looks, right? And then for Nighthawks, what I can do is I can go to here and do advanced. Let's see, let's do a blue, kind of like that. Nighthawks. And let's do another text, but this time, let's see, let's, I kind of like, is that? Nothing's editable. Okay. Um, let's see if we can change that text. And I kind of want to do, let's see what that looks like. Champions. I'm going to type in AU champions and I'm going to make this smaller so it kind of fits in here. And maybe we can do this in red. Oh, I like that, right? Okay, let's see. There. So this I'm going to weld because I wanna make sure that it looks, there's no cut lines, right? Um, I also, because I want this sticker to be one rounded piece, I'm now gonna grab this whole thing and I'm gonna do an offset. And you see how it gets, so that way it's gonna cut around like that. Um, I'm gonna make it a little bit thinner. Let's see, 0.15 and see what that looks like. Okay, I kinda of like the way that looks. So I'm gonna apply. Now, with this offset, what I want to do is I actually want to fill everything in. So I, um, and it's not letting me fill it in. So let me see, what can we do here? So it's so funny. I mean, sometimes this, I should be able to click contour. Oh, you know what? I know why. Let's go to basic. Okay, now we can contour and we can hide all. Okay, I'm gonna move it back and I want this to be in white. So I'm gonna change that to, well, let's put this back here first. And now I'm gonna change it to white. Then I'm gonna grab this whole thing and I'm gonna flatten. So it's gonna cut all the way around. It, you, oh, you know what? I didn't put, hold on. Let's undo even the offset because I want to put the date. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back to this one and I'm going to add the date. Spring 2023 and I'm going to make this like that. All right. Make this just a little bit bigger so it kind of goes past the circle a little bit. I love the way that looks. All right, let's grab this thing and now do an offset again. And we're going to apply. All right, so that offset, we're going to change that to basic for now because we want to contour it, hide all, and I want to turn that into white. Okay, so now I like everything. I'm going to flatten. That's going to cut all the way around, okay? Then what I want to do is I want to do another offset. So this offset, I'm also going to change it to white. But that's there, so that gives me that easy peel. But that offset to do that easy peel, I'm going to need three of them. So I'm going to duplicate. Oops, I don't want to do. I don't want to duplicate the whole thing. I want just the offset. So let's get rid of these items now that I've already settled on what my sticker is going to look like. Okay, so here's my offset. I'm going to duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. 
I'm gonna do actually three this time, okay? I'm gonna grab all of that, put it over here. I'm gonna grab this and move it to the top so it's my topmost layer. Then I'm gonna grab all of them, align, center, so that all the pieces, all my offset and everything is aligned and I'm gonna attach. So what's going to happen is what you're looking at right now is we've got our first layer, the sticker, right? That's this sticker. We've got four offsets that's going to be around it that's going to cut four times because I want it to cut through my sticker paper. On this top one, I only want to cut it through the top layer of my sticker so that I can peel it off. But then around it, I want to cut through two layers. I want to cut off the sticky layer and the backing layer, and that's going to give me my easy peel. And that's all that there is to it. Now, the thing is, the last time I did this video, I only did three, um, um, three layers of the offset because I know I'm cutting on a different Cricut machine. You have to get to know your Cricut machine. I know it should be the same no matter which machine I use, right? Because I'm using this preset um, settings. But unfortunately, you do my different, I have four different Cricuts and they cut different pressures even using the same setting. So just get to know it, whether it's three or four, and then I'm gonna cut on, um, on sticker paper, I'm gonna do less pressure because I just wanna cut through this first layer, but I know I'm gonna cut four times around, so it's gonna cut through the second layer. All right, that's all that there is. I hope this was helpful. I hope you see how like you can navigate and make edits to a um, an, you know an SVG file that is partially made, or you know, partially, it's fully made, but I'm saying partially because it's you are only gonna use it partially for our sticker. But you can see how you can make edits to it. You can add and move things back and forth and really make a, um, a custom personalized sticker. So, all right, comments, questions, please post them below. I will see you later.